Mark, how, so uh, what have you all gotten into? We've been sitting here in dead silence waiting for you. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, yes. uh, we've we just That's been fun. talking about, we've just been catching up mostly, uh, talking about a couple of things regarding food and shit. Food and oh. then how it becomes shit. Yeah. Well, no, literally, like, uh, I told him that after the last Whole30 that we did, that every time oh, I no. now have pizza, dude, I'm my ass is glued to the toilet. Yeah, and, and I glue my ass. It's a glue. Off, you, need to stop, you need to stop rubbing glue all over your ass cheeks. Well, how do you think I suppose? How do you think I'm? You know, my ass is so smooth down there because I need to get the hair off. Waxing with glue. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm usually the one that says shit like that. What the fuck? <laughs> all right. Um, no, I, I have a naturally smooth ass. There is no hair. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that doesn't surprise me, Key. It, like, I'm it, not surprised. It doesn't. <laughs> if if you were if you were part of the LGBTQ community, you'd you'd totally be a twink, bro. Oh, you mean uh, the ashless chaps? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. That that paints a good picture. That's yeah. an option as well. Good morning, boys and girls. Sometimes you gotta wake up early and have yourself a cup of coffee, talk about some nerdy shit, and then go on with your day. It's time for Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. Hey guys, as normal, uh, this is my. I, I'm we're here. It's me. I'm Mark, and joining me as always is my bestest friend. <laughs> Who's that? You fuck. You know it's you. <laughs> it's me. Yeah, and then we got a fr- we got another guest on the show. Uh, joining us today is our uh, our another friend. His name's. Uh, Key Acosta, also known as Kenobi through his music. Uh, is, did I say that right? Yeah, you did. General Kenobi. How's it going, everybody? Um, so, yeah, we, uh, we wanted to sit Kenobi. down with him. General Kenobi. Oh, no, wait. Let me, let me rephrase it. Hello there. Ah. <laughs> nice. Was that a soundboard? That no, that sounded was me. perfect. On. That sounded like, spot on. That was so <laughs> spot on. Like, that wasn't even sarcasm. As somebody who went to a convention... And uh, the announcer for the entire weekend was the voice actor for Kenobi from Clone Wars. That oh, sounded spot on. That oh. was that's amazing. Every announcement, every single announcement. That's you know incredible. What? I was, this I was is really General hoping, Kenobi. <laughs> you know, I was really hoping that um, even when he came out to say that he was going to be playing uh, Kenobi again, I really wish that he would have just said hello there, like you know, to all the audience, and that would have just been like. You that would have been great. The cake. <laughs> that would have been perfect. It would have been the same thing that they did with uh, Palpatine, with just having that laugh. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That was actually kind of good, honestly. <laughs> yeah, it's almost as though I've been practicing that laugh for years and wishing I could animate. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. That's, that's why I said you guys need to be in an animation. I think it would be perfect for you both. <laughs> I'm sure at some point it's going to happen. I, I would love to hire an animator just to take some of the shit that in, we say. I believe in very uh, chaotic energy existing, and if you put enough chaos out into the universe, what you ask will come back to you. You just have no control over how it comes back, and I think, I think this is how it will manifest itself. Hey, fans, if you're an animator, hit us up. Or don't. Just do fan, just fan work of it. But here, here's the thing. Here's the thing: is I know how long it's going to take to do, like animation and shit. So like, I think I it'd be cool. Ask anybody to do it? No, no. What I'm saying is, I think it'd be Unless cool to be able paid to. Them. That, that, I was getting to that. See, what, what Mark is trying to say is, he wants you to draw him like a French girl. That's what he wants. Oh, we've I already would also like you to draw Mark like one of your French girls. Hey fans, draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> that would, you know what? That would literally go up on my wall. <laughs> if if somebody Bailey would be furious because <laughs> anybody who comes over is just going to see a picture of Mark. And they're like, what? What is this? Is this, <laughs> is this erotic LGBT artwork? Yeah. Be like, no. That is the most beautiful man I know. <laughs> no, Why are is, there smudges on the chest? That is perfection. Just from key rubbing it over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, belly, my very serious like voice, I would just say, there's some, there's some questions that just don't need to be answered at all. 
And no. then they're like, well, now I have more questions. Wait, the more concerning question here is why is there a hole cut in the mouth? You oh, my God. <laughs> you don't need the answer to that. No, you don't. You know the answer to that. It's one of I'm those gonna... interactive art pieces. I like to put pizza in there for safekeeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> God, that would be amazing. <laughs> that, like, you know what? I don't want any a Stargate for any other reason than to be able to have Key put pizza into the mouth of my poster on his wall and Mark. Me taste I want the you pizza. to be. I want you to become so famous that you can have a giant mural of yourself, but it's just your face on the wall, <laughs> and then where your mouth is is just a pizza oven. See, that would be actually really Holy awesome. Holy shit, Brandon. Where, that would where's be my great, notebook? Honestly. Hold up. I'm putting that in the notebook for, for my fucking pipe dreams. There you go. Okay. <laughs> write, um, write it down. Pizza store with my fucking face as the oven. I'm like imagining that now, and that would be awesome, honestly. Dude, that would be the greatest fuck. Like, like, have a pizza store that you like own, like own a pizza restaurant, and guests come in like, What's with the uh, the face around the, the the pizza oven? Who is that? <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's the owner. Why why is his face the pizza? Oven? And then I just and come every lump, time I just come lumbering out of the back. <laughs> You're come, the size of Squidward after eating just, the crabby head. <laughs> I just come lumbering out of the back out of the kitchen. And I'm just like, oh, welcome to my pizza shop. And like, oh. That makes sense. And then the pizza comes out of the oven and it just goes, oh. I was going to say it either needs to do that or it needs to say, mm, it's a pizza time. It's a time for the pizza. <laughs> oh, my God. And then every time the pizza gets taken out, I just wink a little bit. <laughs> but it's in like an animatronic face where your eye just winks. <laughs> just like, like the busted ass animatronics from like the tiki room where the eye kind of just twitches a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! You that essentially would look perfect. like a giant pizza version of Lucille from Arrested Development, just slowly <laughs> winking. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, we... I actually want to see that come to life now, guys. I, I, I love that. I'm gonna work on a mock-up for this. At some point, I need to get some investors, and we're gonna open a pizza shop. If there was ever anything that somebody could animate, this would be it. Oh, yep. and I'm no. Oh my God. Oh my God. You remember that scene in Happy Gilmore where it's got the fucking the the mini golf course and it's got the clown. Oh, I yeah. love that scene so much. It would be like that. The teeth would just come down when the pizza's cooking, and then I would just <laughs> as I'm moaning, the teeth just slowly raise up. <laughs> oh my God. Hey fans, Dude, I, I'm just trying to imagine this. this would be perfect too. Like, um, if like. For some reason, you have, like, one of those days where every pizza just needs to have, like, pineapple on it. Oh, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. That, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm another person who <laughs> loves say. pineapple on my pizza. And if nobody wants it, you know how, like, when in the animatronic of Happy Gilmore, when he spits out the ball, it'll just spit out the pizza. Just it'd, be like, it'd be like those uh, Ninja Turtle figures that had the pizza shooters. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, Mark, that's what, that's what happens. This is what happens. Anytime somebody doesn't like actively shits on like pineapple pizza, a giant oh. like horrific like Chuck E. Cheese mascot version of yourself comes out with a giant pizza launcher and you <laughs> pineapple pizza at them. Oh my god, yes. That's what's happening. Oh. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Okay. Key, we invited you on the show because we wanted to talk to you about your music. Okay. What, sorry, I gotta laugh at all this. This is just <laughs> gold. I want this place to come to life. I would eat there. All I would the time. die there. I wouldn't leave. I would oh, just think we all would. <laughs> that's that's the goal: is to have all my friends die horribly in my pizza shop, <laughs> as you overlook them, <laughs> winking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're, gonna get, we're not going to get anything done. No. No. <laughs> Just like, all right, who ordered the who ordered the Hawaiian? Oh, oh <laughs> fuck. Oh, mommy, what did that wall just say? <laughs> There's just two-year-olds on the floor crying in front of the oven. 
<laughs> then what we just end up accidentally doing is creating an entire fetishized version of pineapple pizza for someone when they grow up. Like, I don't understand why, but I can't get off unless I have a, a giant man winking at me with a pineapple pizza in his mouth. <laughs> He's just got, they just got a video of me every time they bring a girl over to their house. Um, oh, I want to show you something I'm really into. Can we just, can we turn the screen off, please? No. I need him there. Why does it smell like pineapples in here? In Greece. Why smells, are you so greasy? Is that, is that bacon I smell, too? I smell, I smell crackling back fat. What is that? Oh, God, baby. I'm going to open your eyes to a whole new world. <laughs> Don't you dare close your eyes. Don't you dare. Dare close your eyes. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh. Dude, you know what? You should if you should also do that for like a spoof parody like, you know, making fun of porn kind of thing. That would be hilarious. Oh like my the gosh. band? What? Corn? Porn. No, porn. Oh, <laughs> not corn. Oh, corn. Get the fuck out of here with your corn. We don't eat corn. <laughs> like how are we going to parody corn that they haven't already parried them themselves that's a good point hey, yeah. that's a point there actually that's a really good point so um <clears throat> on the topic of parodies and commercials and shit like that all right i had an idea for a a, a fake coffee shop called butt first coffee yes because you know like everyone's always just like oh yeah, yeah we'll talk but first coffee right but instead it's a coffee shop where you butt chug coffee <laughs> so you get up there you order your coffee and they hand you a funnel and like a long ass tube so you mean like an enema but with coffee Basically, yeah coffee yeah. enema oh ah. see um, i would i had this very differently i was thinking this very very differently i think i might have this i think i was thinking the exact same thing you were Brandon. i was <laughs> thinking that once we get up to, like you get up to order your coffee from the barista and there's just somebody with their ass cheeks just it's like Hang no, 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 no. You butt chug the coffee. Now, the problem is is that the regulars that go there often will know that you only order, like, iced coffees. And then, you get that, <laughs> <laughs> then you get that one asshole that shows up. He's like, yeah, I'll get a, uh, I'll get a large uh, black coffee. Uh, scalding I just want hot. the drip coffee. I want it as hot as you can possibly get it. Uh, I've got a long trip ahead of me. Like, oh. Are you? Are you sure? Yeah, I only take it hot. I don't drink that fancy iced coffee shit. Do you want any cream or anything? No, I just like it straight black, as hot as possible. Cream ends up cooling it down too much. I just want to get that hot coffee inside of me. Oh. All right, sir. And they get fucking some fucking greasy old guy just comes up, jams the the tube up their ass and just I'm imagining starts. the 16-year-old who's got this is their first job in high school. And this is like their orientation day. <laughs> it's like the it's like the entire. And they're movie. like, "All right, Keith, I need you to go back and get the funnel in the in the tube for us." And he's it's, like, "I don't know what this is for." And, and he just looks on in horror. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the kid, like it's like the movie Waiting, just like the whole time, just having um, no idea what the fuck. The is kid happening. is just Justin Long, just sitting there, like, "What the fuck is happening?" Dude, it's I why, love that movie. Why so are we much. Pull, Why are we pulling down the guy's pants? What? Are, what? Oh, oh no, oh no! And the poor, and the, of course, the guy that ordered the hot coffee is just standing there as his asshole is fused to the tube. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, that so sense. anyway, uh, music, <laughs> music. <laughs> the um, things that connect people together, yeah. <laughs> you know, audio things like, oh, come back to music, right? <laughs> All right, so he, to give some of uh, people some back, uh, you know, to like insight, some background, you've been into music for a long time. Like you've been a musician for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, you've played drums and guitar before. Yeah. For a while, like since what? Since like middle school or high school? Uh, since I was uh, 13, I got into drums okay. because of a band called Under Oath. I fell in love with Aaron Gillespie's style, him singing. I was like, I love this guy. The way he yes. just plays, it's just, it's something about it that just um, like was just so amazing to my ear canals. I was like, I want to play like this. I want to do this. So I mm -hmm. 
I would just sit down, and listen to every single track off of their uh, their Only Chasing Safely uh, album. Would just tap my feet, move my hands, do all this stuff, and then right when I got behind the kit, I was like, okay, I kind of know what to do from there, but I, it's not going to be as good as I think it's going to be. But um, it, from there, it, it, I got a little bit of recognition for it, but I would tell everybody that I still have a horrible technique because half the time I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. It's just like I'm doing it as I go, but I don't know if it sounds good or not. Right. But, um, yeah, drums has always been my passion, but um, little did everybody know um, about the uh, chiptune uh, sound. Um, that came into place after high school. I s tried to do um, something with uh, Game Boys. It didn't turn out that well. I didn't get to release my EP. But with COVID, I, I went on a very long hiatus. I didn't make any music I would play behind a kit when somebody needed me. I was just like, I'm kind of done recording. I don't want to do it. But after COVID came in this year, my wife introduced me to this company called Teenage Engineering. And I found these things called pocket operators. And they look like a little calendar, like a little, I was going to say calendar, a calculator. And seeing these things, I was like, wow, this sounds so amazing. I would love to mess around with it. And so my wife bought it for me. I started messing around with it. I was like, you know what? I think I might want to release this as my first song ever in like maybe 10 years and see how it does. And everybody loved it. I was like, wow, okay. Um, everybody was asking me when's the next song going to come out. I was like, ah, you got to give me time because I am dealing with school, married life, and then trying to see what I'm going to do as, for a job as well, especially mm -hmm. with COVID because so things – so yeah, I'm, I'm just going to say, I don't know, I, I know jack shit about music. Um, yeah. Brandon can attest to this, but I will say that I did listen to the, to some of your music and I, I, I really like the way it sounded. Um, I can't tell if it's good music or not, because like I said, I know nothing about music, but I personally enjoyed it. And to me, that's, that's worth it. You know, just listening yeah. to it. Yeah. And I mean, thank you for that. I mean, that's, that's amazing that, you know, to hear that feedback from everybody as well. It was certainly really cool because you had been, like, toying with the idea for, the, like, I mean, I've known you for a couple of years now, several years, and you've been, I mean, even when, like, when you first told me, like, you did music and stuff, I'm like, what, what the hell, why haven't I seen you, like, or heard you play before, like, yeah, <laughs> and it was just, like, then you started doing little drum cover videos here and there when you had the free time. And then uh, kind of out of nowhere, you didn't really tell any of, uh, at le you know, at least from where I was standing, I, it's not like you told people, like, hey, guys, I'm going to be doing this. And all of a sudden, you just started posting up little clips of your music. And I was like, oh, holy shit, is this, is this, please tell me this is something he's going to do, like, <laughs> actually, and not the, uh, I don't, like, even though I was like, oh, I'm, all about people doing music is just a hobby but i was like oh i really hope he does something with this outside of it being just a hobby like i want to really see you get into it yeah and then i mean this was like at the beginning of covid and then all of a sudden like it just kept rolling and then we had your um was it a bailey's birthday party and that's when you were like oh yeah i started up a spotify and i was like oh my lord all right awesome <laughs> And, yeah, because, uh, like, uh, I mean, I didn't really think it was going to, like, I mean, like, you, you were, everybody didn't know that I was going to be doing that because uh, the most I got from my wife because I was just, like, I literally have unreleased songs in my um, my other laptop. I just got a new MacBook uh, Air today because the other one was just, like, a hand-me-down. It was literally breaking down. It had too many miles on it. But uh, I have literally unreleased songs right now just sitting there, but I needed a stronger um, following laptop. Well, oh. strong, I'm trying to get a stronger following, yes. I mean, uh, I want to create a page and see what I can do, but with the old laptop, the CPU can handle the music, so every time I would try to put some synth layers or something, it would just get right out of tempo, and I'm like, crap, it can't handle it. Yeah. Man, that's one of the things that I've really struggled with. Um, I clearly need a better computer that can handle it because I went to go record some things. 
Yeah. Um, and it was just my vocals and an acoustic guitar, but I had an isolated track for my guitar and then my vocals and those tracks were conflicting with each other. Nothing I could do to sync it up would get it in sync. Oh, so they were just cl- like, yeah, they were Yeah, the computer other. just was literally shitting the bed trying to like, oh my God, what are you trying to do? <laughs> Trust me, I know exactly how you feel with that. It's a pain in the ass, especially with my laptop. It would, every single time I would do something, it would just say this thing would come up and say like, oh, it did not catch this audio, uh, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, great, now I have to go and do that all over again. Yeah, all that, all that I just did. I don't, it's, I don't want to be that guy that's like bragging and shit, um, but I don't have any issues with audio. I will say, though, that my computer runs slow as shit. Um, so it's, it's different when you're recording just like vocals. Yeah, no, I can absolutely imagine because like, it's when you bring in a rhythm element, you know, like oh, do, that's do, when do, you do, start do, noticing do, the do, issues. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I have no rhythm. Brandon can attest to that. Because, it's also true. Yeah. <laughs> See, because like with uh, my latest single that I released, which was uh, Space Odyssey, that song was supposed to be 140 beats per minute, but again, with the Garage Band. The CPU can't handle it. I was like, great, I can't use these synths. I literally have uh, 22 different versions of that song because I had to keep going down and be simple to find a way to make this song stable enough to put it out there, especially for mm-hmm. the master track. And so once I finally found the right beats per minute, I was like, okay, instead of adding the synth layer, which was a mesmerizing saw sound, I was like, let me throw in some orchestra because I feel like uh, instead of giving everybody, because originally it was supposed to be called Battle in the Stars. I was like, let me get something that'll give everybody like a little uh, taste of like maybe going through, you know, your space, like a little journey. I want them to feel like something different, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and that's what I did. And it turned out really, really well, especially with the orchestra. Um, well, the sound, that orchestra sound that I put inside of it. I was like, wow, right. I really love this one. That's awesome. That's awesome that you found a way to do that. So I guess I guess uh, to get a little bit on the technical side. So you're saying you're doing like Garage Band? Yeah, I'm doing Garage Band because okay. uh, I found that. Well, I used to use Fruity Loops way back when I was 19, but I mean too. What? I mean when my <laughs> in high school and co- in early in college. I mean my my buddy and I that we did music through always it was Fruity Loops because it was free. <laughs> well, and he would download all like the uh the torrented ver like full versions of everything Jeez. <laughs> so every once in a while we would be recording and the program would shit itself because oh. it because it wasn't you know it wasn't proper it wasn't the proper program nope and he'd go yeah so everything we just did we just kind of lost so uh, let's get back in there and do it and i'm like that was four hours of work oh <laughs> no I, I will say like i said i i have no experience with music um, but one of the things that caused me to stop doing like YouTube gaming stuff for a long time was those times when you'd be doing the same kind of thing where you'd be recording and then realize like four hours later that everything you'd been working on hadn't been just recorded. Gone. Yeah. Like it's just it's the fucking worst. Or oh oh my god, today, today, which is Sunday, the or Saturday the nineteenth. <laughs> I was gonna say, Saturday. hold on. My like, days dude, are all I have out of school way. tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, so today, Saturday the 19th of September, I was Twitch streaming uh, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, right? Mm. And I was playing for a good hour and a half, and I was playing uh, Terra's Story. I've never played Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. I finished Terra's Story, and one thing that I, I had put on a sticky note for myself, because I've never beaten Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, again, was don't save over the save files like you have to have separate ones for each storyline right yeah and i finished and Tara's then... story and my dumb ass as soon as i start ventus's story <laughs> is like i need to save and i oh. save it and i'm talking to the audience and i save over Tara's story and i just sit there and i'm just like oh god and oh. i just like i just like full on was like I'm done, guys. I'll see you guys real soon. And I just ended it. And I'm like, <laughs> and like, I was planning on going through like at least the first few few like worlds with Ventus's story. And I'm like, I now have to go back 
and redo Tara's entire story. And I was just like, I need to, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm so upset right now. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, so what uh, I'm getting at is I, I get where your guys are coming from. Uh, yeah. You've had some, te- you've had some difficulties with, uh, I will before. say one of the most, one of the most terrifying calls that a musician can get, or I, I, I don't know if the, the I, I'm pretty sure like, people who are established in the music industry don't deal with this kind of stuff but for those of us who are like starting off and like kind of you know cutting our teeth struggling and like learning the ins and outs of things there is nothing worse than having a full night of recording only to get a text message the next day when your producer is going through things and just go hey man um yeah so uh we need to re- Record everything again. Oh no! I, uh, something happened with the recording program, and I mean, shit, we've had that it's problem. Just like, before. I mean, yeah, we've had it, but there's a difference because you and I. There's a it, difference between like conversation. Maybe sure, you're not going to capture maybe the same magic that you did before, and that's kind of sucky. But you can no. just kind of look at things and go, uh, we 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 can just pick up the ball and just take it in a different direction. As opposed uh, yeah, to like with like with music and stuff, I mean, you you know what you're going for and you know what you're doing, and then you just have to keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah, that's fair. Um, did I? Well, and that that also goes to the when we were doing the uh, back when we were trying to Twitch stream through ukulele and I lost everything. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> yeah, things like that happen a lot. Um, and then we were just like, hey, let's just take a break on this one because I'm just going to kill myself. <laughs> just, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so speaking of, of shooting things, Brandon, you and I kind of touched a little bit on this already. I mean, he, that's a very interesting term to be using in this, to- pro- this uh, topic you're bringing up. Well, oh, no, I, I chose my words very carefully for this one. Oh, did you? Yeah, he did. So, Key. Yeah. Have you heard about the uh, the guy that shot his prostate exam doctor? I I don't believe I did. Honestly, whoa, Brandon. All right. Did, so, did you did you read the story for it? I did read the story. I read the story multiple times just to make sure it was real. Just to make sure it was real because this sounded absolutely insane. So, it's Mark, sad. do you mind if I? If I uh, give the breakdown of the story, because I have a very funny anecdote. baby doll, you you take the reins on this one. Somebody all right. light me so, on this because I'm not hearing about this at all. As most crazy news stories that come out of the United States tend to be, this comes out of Florida, and um, this gentleman was getting a uh, from what I understand from, and this is from multiple sources was getting his first or uh, I'm guessing his first prostate exam. Yeah. I don't think it, I don't think it was his first cuz he was he was 56. I, I picked up right. I picked up that this was his first time getting a prostate exam. Hmm. And judging from the fact that they're in Florida, I don't exactly look at Florida as the shining bill of health. That's in fair. The United States. So this dude goes in and gets his prostate exam and uh doctors doing his thing and the uh the patient orgasms and then gets very upset about what just happened oh what (laughs) the guy the guy gets his prostate tickled he uh, shoots the doctor two times in the chest wait did he have his gun while he was there getting i mean of of course it's fucking florida if it's anything like Texas, I would argue that, yeah, that makes perfect sense. But, like, my favorite part is just, like, it's just, like, this guy is on, like, get, he's on his, his arm, like, is leaning on his elbows. Doc comes in from behind. He goes, oh, oh, God. And then, like, he turned, the guy turns around to the doctor and he's like, I need you to say no homo right now. <laughs> and the doc's like that's right he's like what <laughs> and the doc's like he's like what and he's like say no homo right now doc's like i don't know what you're talking about and the guy shoots him the guy just 
fucking shoots him in the chest. Shoots him two times in the chest. Now, thankfully, thankfully, the doctor is alive. Right. This oh, was, well, that's this good, actually. This wouldn't be nearly as funny if he had died. I will say that. No. Um, so here's <laughs> the thing. To give you some context about the no homo statement, <laughs> works is a car dealership owner, and he is so homophobic that if anybody of the same sex accidentally like were to like brush up against him like let's say you're like in a like let's be honest let's say you're like at the golden corral and you're trying to get to the fucking pot roast and all of a sudden you end up changing lanes and end up like bumping into this dude by accident he would probably slam down his his whole plate of dinner rolls and mashed potatoes and go you say no homo right now and like would threaten people and um, he would do this to employees if they were, like, passing him a piece of paper and they would accidentally touch his hand. <laughs> he would immediately demand that you would need to say no homo. And his wife corroborated the story as well that he is extremely homophobic. Here's the best part. Here's the best part of that whole uh, that, that situation with his girlfriend, wife, whatever she was. So he, this guy was 56. His girlfriend, wife, whatever, was 29. Oh, I mean, yeah. He calls her up. This is what he said. This is what happens. He <laughs> shoots the doctor. <laughs> shoots the doctor, right? Bam, bam. Shoots the doctor. Fucking bolts. Calls his girlfriend and says, hasta la vista, baby. And that's it. She has not heard from him since. And it's believed that he has fled the country. Like, oh, oh, this, fuck, this, like, like sequence of events, prostate exam, come on the table, shoots a doctor, <laughs> hasta la vista, baby, and gone. Like, all right, so I want to tell you guys, all right, so like I said, I had a little funny story that was attached to this. All right, go ahead. I want to hear it. <laughs> so I was reading this article as Jasmine was getting ready today. Uh, we were going to go look at some houses, and... um we're in the car, and I'm processing everything. And I'm like, hey, I need to talk something out with you real quick because I'm trying my, – my head's turning over all of this. Like, this absolutely seems like fake news to me or just seems like something that would be like written by the onion. But um, there's a story that Mark wants to talk about. So this guy's getting – and I tell her the whole story, and she looks at me as we're driving, and she goes – what was the doctor doing standing in front of him? <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? And she's like, well, yeah, how, the, how would the guy shoot him in the chest if he was doing a prostate exam? And that's when it hit me that Jasmine thought the doctor got a full-on pearl necklace. <laughs> oh, oh, my, oh my God. God. She thought that? Oh, yes, she did. And Brandon, I died Brandon, laughing. Can you do me a favor real quick? Yes. Can you bring Jasmine on for just like just a minute? I would oh. if she wasn't gone. Oh, oh. damn. I, well, I'm going to have to give her a hard time another time. <laughs> but oh, my God. Your poor, sweet, sweet wife who I love so much. Was, it was one of those things that it completely caught me off guard. Dude, and I, I was died laughing. I was like, wait a minute. You thought the dude orgasmed and it just came on the doctor's chest? <laughs> oh, God. That's, I would that's... never think that Jazz would ever. And she's like, well, you didn't say he pulled out a gun and shot him. You just said he shot him twice in the chest. And I'm like. <laughs> What else is that supposed to mean? <laughs> like, I get, I get where she's coming from. I do like, too. If we're being honest here, but like at the same time, it's just so funny because, like, you remember how I was when I first moved moved to Austin, and I was like, "Hey, is Jasmine gonna be okay watching Deadpool? Like, it's a lot of lot of really it's vulgar lot, stuff. It's a lot of violence." And you're just like, "Are you are you fucking kidding me?" And then we ended up seeing it twice in the same night. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it was great. Um, God, fuck that. I, I still can't. Like, like me personally, if I'm getting a prostate exam and I and I jizz on the the operating table, I'm, I'm giving him a tip. I'm gonna yes. turn around and say, I'm gonna give the the doc a kiss on the mouth and be like, thank you. I've been needing that. 
I didn't know I needed it, but thank you. Like it's Doc, clearly the dude. If this story is as as true as it it seems, you know, I mean, as, like I said, I looked I looked it up. It's from a lot of different sources. But um, but, but to and clarify, they're not parody sites that I have found this from. But to be fair here, they're also not from like anything that's like not some weird it's third not, party news it's I mean, not look, like on it's abc not on CN, it's not on cnn you know? but like <laughs> the fact that it's on so many different sources has to raise like it, it definitely raises the uh the plausibility of this yeah and i mean even if it is a totally made-up story which i i mean there's part of me that hopes it is a made-up story but then there's also the other part of me that is just imagining this guy who's on the run who has run to like Mexico and he's like changed his name and identity and he has this air of mystery around him and like news around the town's like oh, have you seen a new uh, seen a new guy that came in town heard he, uh, <laughs> heard he shot a, heard he shot a guy two times in the chest Dude, oh my imagine? god what did the guy do did he end up like cheating on his wife did he steal from him no apparently he made him come <laughs> I'm just like I'm that's a the dude same you don't thought. Like, that is a like, dude you don't fuck with. I was gonna say, imagine when he once he gets caught, you know, inside of court, judge is just reading out. All right, you're here because you shot a doctor twice in the chest because he gave you a prostate exam and you ejaculated because of that. No, no, and you I would think the doctor's fault. I would, I would love, I would love if the if the 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 judge was like on the same wavelength as Jasmine is. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> your, doc your doctor was giving you a prostate exam and he made you come and you shot it on his chest oh my God. <laughs> that doctor's sitting there mortified like no no so no, wait no. you're being are you being like is this like are you being sued for doc, sexual harassment put away your bullet holes nobody wants to know about the time some dude shot you in the chest come on let's hear about this cum story well, are you telling me you fully unloaded on it like a full load <laughs> you, you gave the you gave the, you filled the guys did you feel his belly button <laughs> Did you sip out of it like a body shot at Coyote Ugly? Oh my god! God, <laughs> <laughs> you remember those? You remember those old like the old meme uh, memes from uh, when it was like the guy sitting in prison on a bench next to another guy. Like, so uh, what are you in for? And it's like I don't know. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, I like I stole something from somebody or whatever. Be like, so what are you in for? Doc made me come, so I shot him in the chest. <laughs> the guy just scoots the fuck away. Meanwhile, that guy's like. Can I get that doctor's number? Yeah. Um. Does he do? Uh. Does he do conjugal house calls? <laughs> oh my god! I was telling Jasmine that I'm oh like, God, if that ended up happening to me, I'm just gonna be like, Wow. I walked out of here one knowing that I have a healthy prostate, and two, you got a happy ending. Some new things we need to bring into the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> You're walking out with a skip in your step, like, wow, today's yeah. a great fucking day. I jump up, there's music playing like a fucking musical, and I click my <laughs> heels together and strut down the street with a lollipop in my hand. Do you remember the movie Road Trip? <laughs> I've um, never seen it. Which oh, one? what? Road Trip with uh, Sean William Scott, where they're traveling from, uh, oh my god, uh, they're traveling here to Austin, Texas to get that sex tape that he accidentally sent his girlfriend Oh yes. With uh, so you remember that scene when that doctor gives him like she milks him, but she the prostate. <laughs> so I'm imagining you now, Brandon, when Jazz puts on the glove and she's like, "Do you want me to use two fingers?" And then you're gonna be like, "Did I say two? You better make it three. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God, that's <laughs> whatever the doctor prescribes. Rancid. So speaking of speaking of getting uh, hand jobs from other people. Uh, oh is that what we were talking about? I Basically. No yeah. Basically. So, okay, so you remember, you, I assume we're all of a similar age. You guys watched SpongeBob growing up, right? Of course. All right. So you remember that episode where... Uh, well, well, just to clarify that, uh, I just barely saw SpongeBob for the first time in like, like literally two years ago. Bailey got me into it. Oh, what? So, yes. Yeah, I, okay. I never got into SpongeBob growing up for some odd reason. I, I don't know why, but then like sitting down watching it, I was like, "Holy shit!" I missed out on it's something. It's one of the most amazing wonderful. cartoons ever done. And I just barely saw the first movie, maybe like a f 
maybe at the beginning of COVID actually. And oh, I'm yeah. really I'm upset you. that I was not invited for this cherry popping event known as Key Watching SpongeBob for the first time. <laughs> Speaking of popping cherries. Oh, yeah, what do you got? Tell us about this hand <laughs> job from SpongeBob. Okay. Yeah, so, so um, Key, I don't know if you would have seen this episode yet or not, but Brent, do you remember the episode where Squilliam comes to town and – uh, Squidward's like, I need uh, to impress yeah. this guy. Has SpongeBob oh, yeah. learned about the fine dining. Right. So I'm gonna I send you. Guys... Now. So there's the scene where he first shows up to Squilliam and gives him like the six-handed salute as he's getting ready to take care of him. No, well, I thought that was after. Yeah, that was uh, after. Hold up. I thought that was up. after. Actually. SpongeBob starts doing all the crazy things where he's like serving him. Right, right, right. Like, like, a, like a butler and all that. Neck, filling his glass and a couple other things. Right. And then Here's he the walks thing. up to him and salutes him. Right. But instead of there being six hand, six arms, there's only five. So, yeah. So there's he salutes with six hands, and then there's the next sec or whatever it is, however order it goes. But he's got five hands that are doing things, and Squilliam looks like he is having – the best orgasm of his life at the same time. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with the beef wellington that he's about to eat. <laughs> so what that is then implying is that Squilliam is receiving a sponge job under the table. A SpongeBob Squared Pants? Yeah. I gotta go back and look at this episode. Hold now. on, let me oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Like, like you see what I'm, that's the same face, like, that's the face that my, my, my fucking pizza oven's going to be making every time a pineapple pizza comes out. Except your eyes are going to be open and just blinking. Like, <laughs> just, <laughs> just like full on eyeballs making co eye contact with whatever, like, just turned 18 year old there is in the room. You gotta, can you even make like you have, like when the, uh. Oh, I was just thinking when when the uh, – because, you know, pizza ovens can sometimes have two doors. Yeah. We can just have the other door be your bottom lip quivering. Oh, and my the other God. Door, <laughs> that raise up. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So you're just sitting there biting your bottom lip quivering as you're waiting for the pizza to come out. <laughs> you gotta have you got to have the guy who puts in the pizza or whoever puts it in doing a salute just like SpongeBob. <laughs> with all six of his arms got to oh my god so the, this the funny is thing is we don't see the pizzas going in we just see them coming out wait wait what's on the other side of that wall what's on the other side of the wall you walk around there's just a big fabric curtain that you got to open up that's made of <laughs> denim jeans uh, wait so there's a denim jean hole in the back and an open mouth in the front. Oh, you should see it when we Eiffel Tower, this son of a bitch. You know, we serve <laughs> all our pizzas hot and ready. Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's amazing. <laughs> and then, like, as you're, as you're, as the, uh, as the, you know, group of customers walks in. All right. And um, who most recently turned 18? Oh, that would be, uh, that'd be Charlie over here. He turned 18 last week. Mm, perfect. All right, so you're going to look at the blonde kid in the blue shirt. <laughs> Maintain perfect eye contact as you let out that long, disgusting moan. Hey, Charlie, I heard your birthday was recently. This one's just for you, baby. And then I, like, just the, the, like a tongue extends from the oven. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I think I'd lose a lot of customers if I did that. You know, I think you might. I think this whole idea of the pizza shop might lose customers. Um, I think you might have the FBI show up. <laughs> um, hi, we're looking for a pizza oven shaped like a man's face, and I just put like a brick wall, fake brick wall over it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we have we have like the we have a lever in the back that's just labeled in case of FBI. <laughs> what is this? A pizza speakeasy? Yeah, all the walls just fucking shape shift and, and stuff. Uh, so can you explain the for FBI uh, lever for me? Oh, yeah, you just got to pull the lever twice, and then the party starts. And then, uh, yeah, obviously put a fail safe on it. Whoops, I sent that to the wrong one. Oh, well. Did you send a – did you send a – Brandon, you got to stop sending me dick pics while we're working. Man. Why are you telling me how to live my life? Oh, because this is oh. a, you know, it's a good thing we're not like an actual proper business because, God, we'd have so many like 
sex, uh, sexual harassment suits already. Man, I think you guys, I think both of you would spend more, like a majority of the time inside of HR, you probably would just have, you know, you might have just run that fucking thing, honestly. I mean, it's a At good that thing point, that we, we could just tell people we work for HR. I mean, it's yeah. a good thing we are HR. You mean hot and ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, okay, so, so, I, you you guys know those videos of the uh, of those folks. I don't know exactly where they're from, but those folks that'll like go out, find like a big old patch of like grass and dirt and shit, and then just make fucking like tiny houses. Hippies? No, <laughs> you son. Of, no, like the guys that'll like make dirt, like mud huts and shit over the course of. A oh, day. I know. Yeah, I oh, know sure. exactly. Which, well, I don't know the name of the YouTuber, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Right, those things are actually pretty about. cool. Yeah. Those things are fucking dope. So I'm thinking, like, you know, if this whole thing working at at undisclosed banking operation doesn't work out, I might just do that. Just go live in the forest somewhere. Are you talking about if your pizza joint falls through? <laughs> no, no, no. This is I'm going to live here. While, dude, oh, my God. We can just oh, you're the, talking about your job job. My job job. We can just fucking build the whole pizza shop out of mud. Oh, no, hey, it is. Uh, no, no, no. He he's actually uh, he's making a point. I mean, you wouldn't be able to put the face, but you can actually sure make, you can. Uh, well, maybe, but you can actually make uh, a pizza oven from the mud itself because I uh, look at. All right, you judge me if you clay want. ovens. Yeah, it's yes. a clay oven. Judge me if you want, but I love looking at uh, these oh guys God, on no. YouTube that this make food, and it's like scenario, food, food. this makes the scenario key. You bring up such a great point. This makes the scenario even better. Because at that point, we can advertise it as a clay, like, we are a gourmet, top of the line, all, like, farm-to-table pizza joint. And our pizza oven is handcrafted from the highest-grade clay that man can get a hold of. And then they come in, <laughs> and it's just that huge fucking thing staring at them. They're yeah. probably all dressed in, like, business attire at the very least. They're sitting like, down. They're sitting down and having like a proper business meeting, and then somebody kind of looks up and, uh, William, uh, <laughs> uh, Will, the fuck is that thing over there? Oh, oh is it? that's uh, that's that handcrafted uh, clay oven we were we were telling you about on the way over here. Why, uh, <laughs> why the fuck does it look like uh, that scene from Aladdin when Genie comes trapsing out of his own mouth? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's modeled after the owner. Ah, and the owner the, uh, was very proud of uh, the investment that he made and the money that he put into this very, I mean, when you look at this oven, I mean, you just crank that mouth right open. You just go over there and look at the insides of that, of that pit, and you're just, wow. And I the mean, amazing is, thing is, is, is there's, there's proper ventilation. There's ventilation from the top. There's front, ventilation from the front and ventilation from the back. I mean, you could say top to bottom ventilation. I mean, <laughs> you could say mouth to mouth to ass ventilation right there. Now, my curiosity here, Will. Will, while you're on that topic, you said there's a hole in the front and a hole in the back. Now, the mouth's in the front, and I haven't seen any pizzas go in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real concerned about where they're putting in the pizza. Oh, you just you talk to the owner, Will, or you talk to the owner, uh, Jeremy, and he'll take you on a full tour, show you the kitchen, everything. I'm not sure I want to see the other side of that there pizza oven. Oh, uh, Will, I think you do. Oh, Will. Let me ask you you something. Have you ever seen a pizza oven that's double-cheeked up on a Tuesday afternoon? Because that that is a sight that you'll want to have. I like this weird, like, I don't know if y'all remember the Whataburger announcer when we yeah. were in high school. Okay. Yeah. Stopping, right? <laughs> we sound like what we're doing burger. an impression of that guy. Oh my god. Let me tell you something here here, uh, Jeremy. You're gonna wanna see the ass end of that there oven. They have got it beautifully sculpted. It is a picture perfect match of the owner's anus. <laughs> All right, so Key, where were you going about the dudes who are crafting? <laughs> yeah, sorry, we got I, I I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> you know the fucked up thing here is I've been I've been sketching what this fucking <laughs> brick oven's gonna look like well now that it's a clay sculpted oven i mean we can even get like some skin dimples in there too uh, my skin is absolutely flawless really 
No, my God, I've got the worst fucking psoriasis you've ever seen. What's great is when it starts to harden and like little flakes of it start to fall off, it's going to look just like my actual face. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Will, can you, can you tell me what they're doing with that there spackle? Oh, yeah, it's just uh, he goes through a skin routine every morning. They put the spackle on. They go over with now, some nice It's very foundation. interesting, you know. Because of the high heat of the clay, the clay does a really good job of maintaining its uh, its in inside a uh, uh, maintenance. But you know, because of the dryness and everything, you know, sometimes you just kind of moisten the outside of the clay pit, and it really, I mean, really, just locks in it. I mean, you wouldn't throw some a uh, good steak on an ungreased skillet, would you? Works the same way. God damn, get with it, Will. Jeremy. Jeremy's what? the asshole. <laughs> Why are you doing this? <laughs> Get your assholes. You have to cut that out. Get your assholes straightened out. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this is gold. <laughs> so key, I'm sorry. We keep cutting you off. Talk no, about the funny. thing you were talking about. What thing? The the you the... were talking about the YouTube channel with the dude. oh, well. Well, these guys, they make really amazing, like, uh, pools, houses. It's really, really amazing. I'm like, wow, these guys can make something and don't have to pay for a house or anything like that. They can Is just this the make guys it out that go out and they're like, oh, hey, we made a swimming pool out of dirt. Yeah. But there's but, 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 into the ground. Uh, uh, but there's two other guys that I look at that make food. It's literally food porn on YouTube, but they make really fucking good uh, meals, dude. And I got the idea from the clay, like that clay uh, pizza oven from them because they literally went out, made a hole in the side of a like clay like wall and made pizza from that fucking thing. Mm. Like that is, and it was, it was literally, um, oh my God, which kind of pizza was it? Uh, it was a, margar a margarita pizza actually. Oh, nice. fuck yeah. And I was like, God, I want a piece of that pizza, especially it coming from a clay oven yo like the like i i pulled up that that uh they're they're uh just some pictures from their shit <laughs> they've got like three-story mud houses with fucking water slides and shit yeah dude they make like a little like they literally make mansions out of that stuff which is insane there was one that i saw like a while ago that it was this guy it was similar it was just one guy this time but he basically dug down like six feet down and made like archways and shit and just filled like the so the bot the entire like ground floor was just a pool that he filled and then he built at the end of it a big clay uh like a big clay oven to heat the water and like he was mixing like like grass and shit and making like green dye so like brandon yeah. let's do yeah. this yeah i'm in all right, I'm gonna, Brandon. Do you guys want to see? You guys want to see this horrible monstrosity that I sketched up? Oh my God! Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have rosy cheeks, though. He gotta have rosy cheeks. <laughs> yeah, but you also you gotta like keep in keep in mind that it's gotta be able to blink or like wink. Oh, just get some like some minor gears and shit. We can make it work. <laughs> We'll just put like a small, a small little slab of clay behind one of the eyes to wink. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I'm not gonna like, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I can make this actually work if I wanted to. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, it's hey, anything is possible, honestly. Well, the the only issue we run into is is with this. You're probably so you're probably gonna need like a cranking mechanism to raise and lower the eye, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, which I mean, oh, I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, you could just mechanize something. Right, but at at that point, you're gonna have to hire like the 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 little like elf or goblin to like crank. Not it. if hold on, not if you end up rigging it up to the door that any time it opens. Oh my god! <laughs> just like one long ass string that runs like not even like well hidden, just like no. runs along the ceiling like uh <laughs> like just just very obvious open wiring. Like, Will um, what what's with the uh the fishing line? Oh well, you see, if you look at the eye over there, uh, wait till wait till wait till uh, Dale and his kid get here. I'll I'll show you. Uh, okay. Oh, oh God, no. Oh, he, he's winking at me. Yeah. Well, he knows it's your first time here. What do you mean? Why do you keep referring to the oven as a he? 
<laughs> and every so often you see like just a, a young person walk up and leave an offering at the foot of the oven. <laughs> because we all know that eventually he's going to be worshipped as a god. I mean, it's going to happen. Oh, wait, Key, you're not religious, are you? No, I am. I haven't been religious since I was uh, 11 or 12, honestly. <laughs> cool. Because we didn't want to offend people that we bring on the show. No, as long I am as- perfectly... I'm perfectly yeah, fine, actually. Yeah, of you listening to the show, meh. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the people. The people that are listening, like, if they're still listening at this point, like, it's on them if they hear some offensive shit. But, uh... I mean, what do you expect? Like, yeah, what do true. you expect? God damn, that... <laughs> I can't take it with this fucking pizza oven. You know what? It's funny, um... Mark, if anybody comes in and literally says out loud that they hate pineapple, what you could do is come out, have either Brandon or, or somebody hold that person down, and it's just going to be like that exact same scene from Little Nicky where he has the pineapple and Hitler is bent over and just shoves it right up the ass. I still like the idea of a horrific Chuck E. Cheese version of Mark. <laughs> Yeah, hey, that could be. It could be. It could be him doing that. Actually, guys, guys. no. It needs to have the like four times the size of the normal head. <laughs> hey, guys, one plastic too. version of Mark's face. Fans, subscribe to our OnlyFans, and you guys can uh, see this kind of horrible shit come to life. <laughs> you oh, know what? Out of shit for shits and giggles, I really wanted to post something like that on Facebook. Where I was like, because the other day I was tenderizing some meat. And I was like, wait a minute. I could probably create a fans-only account and be like, well, come watch me beat my meat for like literally 10 bucks a month. I mean, that's, what Mark, that's literally what Mark and I did. We, just we have an OnlyFans. Um, we just kept doing this dumb fucking joke. About like, subscribing hey, to our OnlyFans. <laughs> and now we have an OnlyFans. And we, I'm still waiting for people to donate so that we can get the Great American Challenge so that Donald Trump uh, costume Mark can throw ease it. down onto it. Yeah, deep throat it. Not, 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 not stick it in his asshole. My butt doesn't stretch that far. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Oh, Bren. Hey, look, seen... man. Life's all about the small victories. Small victories. Uh oh. I swear we have a. I swear we have an account. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. I guess I didn't make it yet. Mark. Oh well. I know. I I I fucking suck. I'm the worst. I know. <laughs> Well, great. I was excited. I wanted to see this goddamn thing. I mean, there's nothing on it yet. And then I don't... you're going to have that conversation with Bailey like, okay, so uh, look, I promise. Like, I, I've gone on uh, – yeah, I've been on OnlyFans, but I swear it was for Mark and Brandon, and she's going to look at you like, um, excuse me? <laughs> look, Bailey, two of my very best friends have an OnlyFans page. I just want to support them. I just want to help them get through college. Oh, wait, I did put something on there. Wow, over a month ago. It says, well, it's, it's good morning, boys and girls. We are here. We don't, not why, or we don't know why we're here, but here we are. We will post naughty pictures. Who knows? So, see, see, like... Uh, just imagine you being that sexy Batman, Mark. Oh, my God. I miss, I miss my Batman. I really do. do you I know, was I'm talking really about bummed. the other Batman, but that's fine, too. You know, you mean, I'm really bummed that we never really got to do uh, the YouTube channel for that. Dude, that would have been so fucking awesome. I would have loved to have, like, I would love, I would have loved for that to come to life. As you as Batman being, you know, having a, you know, a, a day job, being drunk, and then having all of us there too. It would have been so fucking perfect. So you just described this podcast. Oh well, my god. Yeah, but. Oh my god, hold on. Key. Yeah. Do you know what the Easter bear is? The Easter bear. Oh, key. I took the sh- the the shit personality that I had when I was being Batman and put it into the body of a bear. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, Brandon, wait. you I haven't re- seen this? I see the I picture. Have. Yes, I remember the picture now. So the Easter bear is literally just that that dumbass Batman persona, just in a bear costume. I remember you posting the picture. I didn't know that there was a video to that. There are now I several. See this. I need to see this now. Oh, my God. I just – I didn't realize how many of those fucking videos I'd done already. Yeah, you've done a, a handful. I've done five. Yeah, it's a handful. That's that's a fist of, of Easter – 
Oh my god. Oh the, no. The fisting Easter bear. <laughs> I, I've got I've got like a folder of images on my phone that of like screenshots of things I want to talk about. Give me a second. What kind of images are we talking here, Mark? Nothing. I had an Wink. interesting kind of I had an interesting query. Well, um, I don't like how long you drew out the word so queer. There. Queer, yeah. Query. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was I was thinking about it because I was trying to interact with somebody as far as like how to get my food. Like I went to. I had band uh, met up with my bandmates last night and uh, I had no time to go home and eat. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. I'll just go to the, I'll just go to Wendy's and just get food there. Uh, this podcast is not sponsored by Wendy's, but Mark and I have eaten enough Wendy's over the, over the years that if, you, if they wanted us, wanted to, we, yeah, we would welcome you. Open I, can't, I can't, I can't remember the last time I've had Wendy's actually. You're not helping our cause. Of <laughs> I, no, no. See, cause I, us. I have it so often that I've just forgotten is what I'm saying. Oh, because every meal you're just like every meal. It's either Taco stream. Bell or Wendy's. You can't even forget about the last time you had it because it's just constantly happening. Yeah. Wendy's and Taco Bell sponsor us. I think Taco Bell should definitely sponsor us. You know you. what? I will only accept Taco Bell's sponsorship under one condition, and that is that they bring back the goddamn fucking caramel apple empanada because they discontinued it, and I am fucking mad as hell. Have you not tried the Cinnabon Delights? I don't. No, I don't want them. I do not want them. I don't want them. Because the caramel apple empanada is the perfect fast food dessert. Brandon, yes. they ruined it. Brandon, they got rid of it. Brandon, yes, I love you, and I'm sorry that they took this away from you. Thank you. But I'm on their. They still had these fuckers. Still, uh, excuse me. This wonderful company that should sponsor us still has it on their website. They just it's you gone. you can't it's add it to their order. It's discontinued. So they're even teasing you to like, hey, do you remember this thing? Guess what, fucker? You can't have it. Brandon. Yes. I'm sorry. Thank you. I, I truly am sorry that they took this wonderful thing away from you. Thank you. Do they still Appreciate have the cinnamon twists, which are just Yeah, they off? do. They, they do, yeah. Do. Those things are the worst. And Dude, actually, they just got rid of the Mexican pizza. Uh, actually, if you put those little cinnamon twists inside of a, like a milkshake, it tastes really fucking good. Uh, yeah, but... Taco Bell doesn't sell milkshakes. No, get your own. Make your own. It's better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Also, I was going to say, I don't, man, I never thought about having a milkshake with a, with a quesadilla before. <laughs> That's a lot oh, of dairy. Yeah, <laughs> a, a lot, lot of dairy. dairy. That is a Which lot. Is not, no, no, like, I can't even. I guess like, this is I, a bad time to mention that I'm lactose intolerant. Dude, no, I am dude. so lactose intolerant, but I love milkshakes. No, we were talking about this earlier before we started the podcast that after I did the whole 30, dude, I can like I haven't been eating any dairy whatsoever, but it sucks because every single time I eat just pizza or something, somehow I am on the toilet begging for, you know, mercy because everything is just coming out. Well, guess what? When it comes to health food, there is no mercy. Oh, it sucks, dude. Because like, I'm like I, I'm like I wanted to enjoy this and then go to bed, but now I'm sick nope. in the toilet. No, nope. now you're I'm, paying for your transgressions against what, your body, and that's I'm, why I hate eating healthy. I hate it so much because it's like you can't even have a cheat day after a while. No, nope, because then can't. you just feel like shit the whole day. And it so sucks just because do what I do. No, it sucks because I lived that moment a day after we finished the fucking thing because we had Via 313, and I was like, okay, I think we're going to be fine. No, I'm on the toilet with a fucking Pedialyte in my hand, and like, oh, why did I do this? <laughs> why? Isn't Pedialyte the shit that babies drink? No, yeah, dude. It's like Gatorade pretty much, but it's just without all that sugar. Hmm. Well, it goes to show what I know about healthy stuff. All right. <laughs> All right, so All right. So, anyways, what I was going to bring up was I was thinking about this while picking up my food from Wendy's okay. because there are so many – like there's – I mean there's like the whole contactless like pickup at most drive-thrus right now. Yeah. 
And I was thinking about like these normal ways that we interact with people and stuff and um like licking the asshole, yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> no, you can't lick the asshole right now. Which is a bummer. It is a bum or pun intended, yeah. Yeah. Um I don't know. I was just curious about like kind of what um all right, so looking back there was something that happened at like the beginning of a quarantine. And uh, my bass player and I went to this guy's house to go check out a bass amp. And um, he's an older dude, like I'd say probably uh, in his mid sixties. And uh, I'm pretty. I, I mean, I don't know the man. I have no idea. But if I had to guess, due to his accent, I would say he was probably from uh, Southern Louisiana. And. Um, this is like right when they were like, do not shake hands. Like, do not. That is a prime way of transferring, like, do not touch people with your hands or, you know, and everybody's like struggling to try to figure out like the greetings, like everything to do. And uh, so my, my first thought, like my whole thing, I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I mean – I've seen several people do like the elbow touch thing. I'm not about the elbow touch. And I'm like, man, that's just so awkward. I just, uh, I'm having a hard time grasping that one. And I always am like having to do like a full body shift anytime. And I feel like I'm doing the chicken dance a little bit when I'm doing it. Um, so I've just resorted to, I'm just going to fist bump. Fist bump's fine. You're not touching the, like the bottom of their hands. And I'm sanitizing my hands anyways all the time, so a fist bump ain't going to hurt me. Yeah. So we go to meet this guy, and he introduces himself and sticks out his hand to, like, shake my hand. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm not shaking. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, of myself, look at this guy. I ain't shaking his hand. He's probably got the Rona for all I know. <laughs> and then I just, like, put out my fist to, like, fist bump him. And he just looks at me and then just clasps my fist with his hand and like shakes my fist wait he does that he did the thing that i do to you all the time yes but it was oh. real but it was real <laughs> it wasn't like a haha i'm gonna mess with my friend because he's doing the fist bump thing it was a i don't know how this these weird teenagers these days introducing themselves with their with their eating and their you know and their and they're dabbing. And what is this? I just, uh, he gave me his fist. I guess I'll just shake his fist. And he literally just <laughs> grabs my hand and just starts shaking it. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, what, so what naturally, you na naturally you cut, you cut your whole hand off, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I dunked it in bleach. Ugh. No, no. But I was just curious, like, you know, have you guys had any like weird interactions or just like I, people being like super socially awkward? Dude, I have. Um, so uh, just a month ago, me and Bailey went to New Braunfels because we found out that there's a a, a, a drive-in movie theater out there called Stars and Stripes, and I was like, Sweet, yeah. let's go watch. Uh, we watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Heck and yeah. it was awesome. But here's the thing. Um, I went to go get me and Bailey some water, and we had friends over from uh, Waxahachie, Texas, and they were like, yeah, we're going to, you know, can you go and get us some stuff, too? I was like, yeah, sure, and we're standing in line, and there's this woman, I shit you not, dude, there's literally little X's on the sidewalk heading to the concession stand telling you where to, to stand. This fucking lady is literally right behind me to where I can feel Oh, like, no. I can uh. feel her ripe, like, her breath. I'm like, dude, can you get back? There's X's on the sidewalk indicating where for you there to stand. There are literally blueprinted layouts of where you should and should not be standing, and you are just not doing that. Well, like, I even, it was so goddamn, like, it angered me. I was like, seriously, what is wrong with you? Also, cool. I pulled Thanks, up Pedialyte. Mark. Pedialyte looks like fucking cough syrup. It does. It might, but, hey, it helps. Mm. So right. cops that doesn't mean it's good all right yeah. so i have i have one question i have a question for both of y'all that i i, I would right. like to get your input on 
Okay, so I need you guys to just, for the sake of this question, imagine that you were both single men. Okay. Okay. Or if it, if it makes you more comfortable, imagine your, your wife gave you a free pass. Oh, a okay. hall pass. Pass, yeah, Basically. a hall pass. And, and also, for the sake of this uh, conversation, uh, STDs are not a thing. Okay. okay. Huh. If you had to pick a porn star to spend one night with, who would you pick? Okay, first of all, porn stars are they take a lot of precautions to make sure that they Brandon. do not get sick. I am and just, if they do get sick, they are immediately not allowed to do the porn anymore. Brandon, I am just yes. covering all of my bases. All right, and I just covered all of them for you with actual logic and Brandon, actual you, rules that happen. Will you cover all of my face? Oh my sure. God. <laughs> so to reiterate. Okay, fine. I'll take back that question. STDs are rampant, okay? <laughs> prefer that. No, thank prefer you. Prefer that, you bastard. No, okay. Okay. then my answer is going to be no. Dude, I think I would feel safer sticking my dick in an anthill or something, but no. Thank you. Okay. I mean, okay it's so, going to be as, as red and inflamed as it would be. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, yeah but oh. still, I mean, it's not an STD. Speaking of, there are no fire STDs? ants here, and it's amazing. Oh. That's nice. Good yeah, we you. have we have big ass red ants that occasionally bite, but nothing like, like fucking Texas ants. Oh. Okay. So to reiterate my question, we'll take away the fucking STD conversation part. Just things are as they are. Okay. okay. Your parent, your your wife, not your parents. I don't give a fuck if your parents. <laughs> <laughs> your wife gives you a hall pass, but you have to pick a porn star. Who are you picking? Huh. Mia Khalifa. I was going to say that, too. God, you guys are both basic. What? What? She is beautiful. She is. She really You're not is. wrong. I, I've, recently, I've recently changed my answer. And also because she is more than just somebody who did porn. She is very active in uh, social justices and um, very, very, you know, is Could trying to do a lot of good. I heard she lives here in Austin, apparently. I don't know if that's true that's, or not. I think that is true. Wait, so, Brandon, could, you, could one say that she's a warrior of social justice? I wouldn't know if I would call her an SJW, but... What, here's what I don't understand. Why does that have such a negative connotation? Because Republicans made it have a negative just, connotation. Just like the special snowflake connotation stuff? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fair. So I recently... Dumb. I, 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 my, you know, my, my answer to that question would change quite often regarding uh, who I would choose, but I recently found, I recently found a new one. She is amazing. Oh, okay. Man, he re- he got really, you know, he got really into into thought it. with that. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's everything. Okay. I think I've fallen in love with this, this oh, no. sexy, sexy woman. Her name's Janice Griffith. I don't know who that is. Me either. I'm I'm really scared to just Google her, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Janice, <laughs> why are you afraid to Google her? Because I feel like that's a, that's a common enough name. Um, oh wow, she has an IMDb page. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's a lot have... of porn stars do. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So uh, here, here's a very a very SFW image of her. Since we are technically working, Brandon. Okay. And I'm so, uh, which HR department do I take this up with? This is a uh-huh. safe. This is safe for work. I'm not, it, it's a very SFW picture. There's nothing. You putting it through the messenger or? Yeah. Okay. okay. It's gonna be this chat thread is really weird because we got your weird fucking pizza mouth face, and then we're gonna have this woman, <laughs> this poor woman <laughs> right who's. Afterwards. How fucking amazing would it be to have like find out that these porn stars we're talking about listen to our show and then just be like, um, I'm curious as to which picture of me you sent your friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Was, oh. Yeah. She's she's foxy. Dude, I actually like yeah. her gauges. Yeah. And she's also um like from the videos I've seen, she's a very bubbly and perky personality. Uh, which means I wouldn't like her. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's, you're, he's you're not lying like, honestly Brandon you're just like I just want you to step on my nuts tell, no, me, I'm, just... tell me I'm fucking garbage <laughs> oh my god if I ever heard like okay if 
if I would ever hear that from Brandon, I think I'd be like, whoa, dude. <laughs> like, See, but that's the thing is if I heard that from Brandon, I'd be like, oh, it's Tuesday. That's just a Tuesday for you. Pretty yeah. Well, and then <laughs> Brand, Brandon's, Brandon's conversation is so with me is always just like, fucking hate Now, hold on. Is it the way I say it? Or what if I like what if I put like a different inflection on it? Like all of a sudden, like, you know, you've got like I just wanted to step on my nuts and just get it over with. As opposed to I'm like, hey, you know, it'd be really cool if you know, like stepped on my nuts Gosh, or geez, you know, I, really I, got in there. I, I'd love for you to just take your big <laughs> fat steel toed boots and just kick me in the crotch for a while. That'd be great. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, if oh. you could just kick me in the shin, really oh, really gets me off. Oh my God! That's she's amazing. Gonna end it. She's gonna end it for Brandon. I don't know why we prostate sound, exam. I don't know why my immediate <laughs> voice was Bill Burr. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! I love Bill. If you could, if you could just put out your cigarette butt on the tip of my penis, that'd be just that'd be that'd be jolly I mean, it's ranchers. Practically a built-in ashtray. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> built-in ashtray. <laughs> That's fucked, man. That's oh. fucked. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Shit. Well, Brandon, do you have anything else you want to cover tonight? Uh oh. Uh he's stuttering. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Brandon. Pause, pause. Uh oh. <laughs> Key, you're hearing this shit, right? Yes, I'm hearing it. Okay. Do you want me glitching? Do you have a bubbly personality about it? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, you cut out so bad. You started glitching again. Like all I heard was something like just moaning, just like uh. And then, do you want me to have a bubbly personality about it? It was actually pretty good because they gave me an idea for another song. It because how it was like chopped pretty much, and it sounded so good. But it just needed a little like melodic sound to it. It'll been perfect. There you go. I'm glad we could give you some artist inspiration with our shitty internet connection. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, for once I actually have a reason to keep in the shitty internet connection. Yeah. 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 Right. Um well key, it has been an absolute joy having you on the show. It's um, been something. It's definitely been something else. Uh Guys, listeners at home, you can find Key's music uh, under Key Noby, K-E-Y Noby, on uh, the Spotify machine. Um, and uh, I, I highly recommend going to listen to him. He's uh, You're on Instagram, too, as Key Noby, aren't you? I'm under it as Master Key Noby. You can find me under there as well. There you go. Go there. Follow him on Instagram. Give him some, give him some hearts and some likes. And yeah. Call, call me on Instagram. Uh, my link to my spotify account will be right there in my bio so you can go there listen to the songs i have one song that's remixed and then i have a new song called space odyssey out and Woo-hoo. right now i am currently working on a new song i just well since i got my new macbook i should be you know gold right now i should be good to go perfect Sweet. right on all right and hopefully well, in the future i could have uh, a little collaboration with uh brandon here that'd be great Heck yeah. I'm certainly yeah. certainly wanting us to get working on that. Yeah, fuck me, right? Yeah. Oh, I would love to do that actually. <laughs> <laughs> but right. since you're you're taller than me and I'm short as fuck, so I pretty much guess I would have to jump on you. I don't know. It's like climb me. climb me like a tree. Oh, It'd I be like conquer. an achievement for key. Like you, He'd you weigh like what? Mountain. 130, 140? I weigh one fifty five at this oh, point. Oh yeah, I'd have I'd have no problem holding your ass up. <laughs> well uh guys thank you so much for listening as always i've been mark i've been brandon i've been kenobi and uh we'll see you guys real soon Woo-hoo.